Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. And the first update of the day, our reigning, defending Mr. Olympia champion, Big Rami, is working, guys. And it's great because in the past week, I've seen Big Rami training more in the past week than I've seen in the past six months. And as I mentioned in the last video, Rami was able to win the title with only training for two or three months last year. So Rami seems like he has the foot on the gas and he's definitely coming back to win his third title this year. Also, you guys can go to his Instagram. He put up a lot of training footage from his leg day as well as some lunges. I'm just not really a guy to sit here and commentate over training footage. I rather prefer to talk about physique updates. But as long as Rami has his head on straight, you know, he's focused, he's training. Chad Nichols and Dennis James are going to make sure that he brings the conditioning. It's going to be very, very hard for anyone to beat Big Rami, you know. It's really Rami versus Rami. As long as he's able to constantly improve even just a little bit, he's going to retain the title. And I think Rami can still improve, you know. I think we still haven't seen the best Big Rami to date. Now, in the next update of the day, Andrew Jack got some posing practice in with Big Steve and Flex Lewis at the Dragon's Lair Gym. And this is where we actually get to see a good look at Andrew's physique. As you guys know, a lot of people have been hyping him up, saying, you know, he can win Texas. He can go into this year's Mr. Olympia and shake some things up. But I'm going to give you guys my honest opinions on Andrew Jack. You know, when I first see this physique from behind, the legs are incredible. Even the quads from behind are good. But the back definitely needs a bit more density, you know, somewhat similar to a Samson Dowda. Now, Andrew has extremely round muscle bellies. He has a great chest, but it still seems like he seems to be lacking something in the upper body. He needs a little bit more thickness. Andrew has incredible biceps. Triceps could be slightly better. And I'm not sure if I like this execution of the front double. I think I would prefer him to hit it straight on. But honestly, the most glaring weaknesses to me are the lats and the triceps. Outside of that, this physique is mind-blowing. The quads are just next level. The separation, the density, incredible chest as well. But once you guys take a look at the upper body, you know, do you guys think this is going to be thick enough to compare with a guy like Big Rami, you know. And Andrew does seem to be on track to be more conditioned than he was at the Arnold Amateur, but I still believe he'll have to be a little bit harder, you know, to be competitive with some of these top guys. But going into this Texas Pro, after seeing this very, very revealing physique update, you know, he has Quentin Araya, you know, Martin Fitzwater. How will Andrew Jack stack up against those guys, you know? Is Andrew Jack going to win the Texas Pro and go to this year's Mr. Olympia? And if he does, where does this physique stack up? Me personally, I don't think Andrew is as good as people are hyping him up to be yet. Andrew in one or two years is going to be mind-blowing. But this year in specific, I think Andrew is going to need a little bit more time. Really, really needs to bring the lats up, guys. And Logan Franklin was also out at the Dragon's Lair Gym getting some posing tilts from Steve Weinberger. And it's incredible that Logan is, you know, teachable because he is one of the best posers in the division. But he still works with, you know, people from time to time on his posing. Now, Logan wasn't at last year's Mr. Olympia, so I have a question. I wonder how is he going to stack up against, you know, Erez Kalasinski, Ramon Dino. You know, prior to those guys coming in, Logan Franklin was looked at, you know, a taller guy that could possibly challenge Chris Bumstead, but we haven't seen him competing against those two guys yet. So I'm wondering how is Logan going to stack up at this year's Olympia. And keep in mind, him and Terrence are the top two poses in the division, and I feel like the posing is definitely emphasized in the classic. You know, the presentation and the stage presence definitely matters. But I'm excited to see Logan hop on stage this year. I think he's going to be in that top six. And in the next update of the day, this is the latest from Kamal El Gardner. Now, Kamal said he will be doing three open shows prior to this year's Olympia, but he is doing it for himself. He said his goal is to win the 212 Mr. Olympia title back this year and retire from bodybuilding. Kamal says if the Masters offers enough money or if the Masters come back next year, he will do that. But Kamal's plan is to win this 212 title in December and retire. You know, he's at the end of his career. So he says he want to just hop into some open shows, see how he would stack up, you know, just to say that he did open before he retires. But Kamal has an incredible physique, man, and he's definitely going to bring it to this Tampa Pro. Hopefully he shocks some people. Now, the next update of the day, we have another physique update from Antoine Volant. And Antoine comes in very, very conditioned and very, very detailed. Now, this is going to be a very exciting Mr. Olympia because we have a lot of faces we haven't seen there before and a lot of faces that weren't there last year. Even though Antoine isn't the biggest guy on stage, he has some of the best legs and is one of the most detailed. If guys come in off with conditioning or they come in watery, Antoine can definitely sneak past them, man. I'm excited to see this guy at the Olympia. Great poser as well. Now, the next update of the day, Quinn Beast will put up some photos from the Toronto Pro Prep. 
At the same time, he's out from the Tampa Pro Pro. Now, even though these pitchers aren't sized 100% correctly, we can definitely see improvements in posing, improvements in the delts, chest, arms. Honestly, everything is improved, man. Quinn has been locked in. He looks bigger, but also more conditioned as well. And I'm very, very excited to see this guy on stage, you know. But similar to Andrew Jack and Simpson Dowda, all of these three taller guys need to bring the back up. Now, the next update of the day in my last video, I mentioned to you guys that Justin may be starting prep. In the caption of this post, he says, don't worry about the fat face. It will be gone soon. So a couple of weeks ago, everyone was reporting that Justin was done competing. Justin isn't doing Olympia. I didn't really trust that because I didn't find that information myself. And the way it's looking that Justin is probably going to compete more this season. You know, he's probably trying to win a show and go to the Mr. Olympia or either rack up a couple of more points. But either way it goes, I hope Justin is staying healthy. And ending this video here with Martin Fitzwater. I'm actually not 100% sure if this is recent or not, but Martin is two weeks out from the Texas Pro, and it probably could be. Conditioning does look pretty good, but he just wanted to credit Branch Warren as well as the guy that owns the Metro Flex Gym for helping him so much. Martin looks incredible, somewhat similar to Tony O'Burton. Both of these guys have incredible shapes. You know, you could call them more aesthetic guys compared to some of the other guys, but I feel like they're just going to need a little bit more size to stack up well. But these guys' shape is so good that if they come in conditioned enough, I'm pretty sure that Martin could beat guys bigger than him because he has an incredible shape, amazing back, and a lot of people struggle with the back today. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. It was a quick video, not really feeling the best today, and I'm still working on the video of Ian Valier versus Blessing Unwotable. That will be a very interesting one. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and I'm out.